Hello guys, I'm Ilya, but you know me as Iluti. It is huge pleasure for me to have you here. In today's video, you will see and hear some tips for the half when you're a defender. This video is episode 5 of the series, From Zero to Hero. I will drop links in the description for the rest of them. And also, it's Guardian only. I'm still having fun with that weapon, and still having fun in the Platinum Diamond Lobby. I had a crazy few games. They are accusing me so often of cheating. It's weird for me how easy it is sometimes. Anyway, I have a request before continuing with the tips. My girlfriend told me that if I hit over 1.5k subscribers by the end of March, she will buy me a controller for my setup. By the way, I don't have one. The controller I choose is Steel Series Stratus Duo, amazing one which I can use for my smartphone, tablet, etc. So guys, you're the people who can help me achieve that. Hit that subscribe button or tell your friends to do it. I really want to get to these 1.5k subscribers on time. Thank you in advance to all of you. Now, let's come back to the tips today and let me help you to get better as defender. My first tip is to play with one way smokes where it's possible of course. It is not necessary for you to be the smoker in your team. You always can ask the guy with them to help you out and place one for you. Having one way smokes is always good for you. This advantage of seeing the enemy before the enemy can see you is fantastic and you can get so many easy kills. But make sure that you're getting a good position and one which they won't expect. Like you saw in my clip just now, Reyna died so easy from my hands. But watch what I'm doing now. I'm changing my position with a different one but still have one white smoke. The second one is really powerful and usually when you see it you should be really careful. Jet tried to cover her team and pass to Ram but I was patient enough to get these easy trick kills. The next tip it's about the rotation, when, how and why you should rotate. After killing them a few times with these one way smokes on A, I knew they would try something new. Reyna was lost enough to come again, but the rest tried to be different. And after fake smoke and abilities around me, my team communicated with me that they are going towards the other part of the map, which is B side. So in my case I had my ultimate and I took few seconds just to make sure that's true and went straight to B and got ready for them. Can you imagine how these guys were feeling after this round? Going to be with my TP and getting 3 of them just there on the entrance after killing Crane on A probably hurts. They even accused me in cheating. I mean, there were crazy kills, but in cheating? Seriously? But let's say that you're not Omen and you can't do the TP trick. So here is another rotation after killing Omen on A. This time, they really got afraid to push that side while I'm there just because they were thinking I'm a cheater. So they went back and passed through me to B. Of course, my team gave me the info, also I'm always having an eye on the minimap. So I started my rotation from A to B but walking this time, not with my ultimate, because I needed to surprise them and I already did the TP trick. And now I'm not sure if you're surprised, but I got them and killed another 3 of them. I was so dominating on that defending side. Ok, Arena was easy, but with Raze and Sage I got a bit of work. But the work is part of the game, really? right? Let me know in the comments below, do you think that was work or pure skills? Next tip is about aggression. Sometimes when you've played a bunch of rounds super safe it's good to show a bit of aggression and try to surprise them again, but make sure that you're confident enough for this part, otherwise you're dead and your team is one less. In this clip now you will see that I'm using the old one way smoke and I got an easy race. But just check out my next few steps on what I will do. After Brimstone closed me with the smoke I changed straight my position to one where I will be able to have a great view and a chance to use my flash. Didn't work but I still killed Reyna after that. And then it was a matter of time for my team to finish them and cut the round. It is not necessary to kill all of them just to help secure the round is enough. The next tip is when to take info and when to go back safe. Now you can see I'm trying to get that info from A long, but I heard that they are coming and instead of getting this one versus a lot fight, I went back to wait for support. Having this support I was ready to fight and I killed Rez and Sova with pretty sick kills and quite easy right? Especially Rez, it hey, was a crazy headshot. And now let's see another example of surprise and aggression. 
Being passive 11 rounds as defender, I decided to go with aggression. I got Sage on the window with help of my smoke and Phoenix in mid who actually didn't understand what happened and from where I came from. Oman was just the cherry of the cake. After that and we finished 7-5 on the half. We already talked about rotations too, but I will give you another example now. After checking A long and seeing on the minimap that the enemy team is going towards C, I started my rotation and went to help my team. The help started earlier with smokes and flashes, but the big moment is when I got there. After killing Race, I needed to find a way to get that Sova down. I hate playing against Sova because of his abilities. Anyway, I used my little brain to fake the TP. Faking the TP was my great plan, but of course, Sova is having his reveal arrow and he found me quite quickly after my big brain play. So at this moment, I didn't have much more to do. What left is to cut his head from his shoulders. But in my favor was that I have pretty good aim in crosshair placement. So the rest we all know how did it end. With this beautiful headshot. With this, my video is coming to the end. I hope my video was good enough for you and for your like. Don't forget to drop a comment and a like, please. These actions will help me so much for my future. They will help me to grow more and to grow faster. I was wondering, do you want me to make tips for each map, how I'm playing them and what are my favorite positions? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I wish you all the best guys. I appreciate all of you. By the way, if I didn't say that, if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to do it. Bye!